Number 56, calculate the molarity of each of the following solutions. And then we have letter B. So in this case, they told us that we have 2.026 grams of iron three chloride, right? FeCl3. And that's all being placed in a 0 0.1250 liter solution, right? And this is used as an unknown in general chemistry laboratories. Fun. Now we just need to just calculate the molarity, right? We know a formula for molarity. It's this guy, right? We've seen this time and time again, if you guys have been on the playlist. So what is this formula? Well, it's the molarity formula. Molarity equals the moles of a solute divided by the liters of solution. But more simply, it's capital M, capital M is always molarity, equals moles divided by liters. So that's the simple formula. Capital M equals mole divided by liter. Now let's see, from what information they gave us, can we solve for the molarity? Did they give us a mole value? Mm, no, they gave us a gram value, right? A G is grams. Did they give us liters? Yeah, that they actually gave me. They told us that it was 0 0.1250 liters. Okay, so basically, I need to do one thing before I plug it into this formula to find the molarity. I gotta convert to moles, right? So in this case, they gave me 2.026, and that's grams of the iron three chloride, so FeCl3, and I just have to quickly convert to moles of the same compound. Okay, now we, we've done grams to moles, right? That was back when we were doing dimensional analysis, but there's like a little trick, you know, quick trick to uh, help us through this conversion. If you start off with a gram of anything, X means that it's either an element or a compound, and you wanna go to the mole of the same element or compound, X on both sides just represents that if you start with one thing, you gotta end with the same thing. And that's what we're doing here. Grams of iron three chloride, moles of iron three chloride. So I can use this little quick trick. So if I start off with grams and I wanna get to moles, all I gotta do is take that gram value, the 2.026, and divide by the molecular weight or the molar mass. They mean the same thing. The only thing is that what is the molecular weight, right? Well, it's the mass that's on the periodic table. This is on the PT, periodic table. So I gotta go find that number before I even do anything. So we gotta take a step back and we gotta say, okay, what is the molecular weight of FeCl3? Well, we've done tons of problems calculating the molecular weight. Right, we go to the periodic table, we say that we have one iron, we have three chlorines, and we times each one respectively by their masses. So I'm gonna try to do it quickly on my end. You get your, your periodic tables out, and let's see if we get roughly the same number. I'm gonna get the exact values, but if you want to uh, round, that's fine with me. We should just have roughly the same number. Okay, so on my end, I got roughly 162.2 and that's grams per mole. Anytime that you're searching up a, a molar mass or a molecular weight, it's always grams per mole. Okay, now we can proceed. I take that gram, I divide by the molecular weight, and voila, I end up at moles. So I'm gonna take the 2.026, because that was the grams that I had, right? And now I'm going to divide it by the molar mass or the molecular weight that I just found out, 162.2. And if I do play the unit game, right, you see how grams cancel out with grams and we're only left with the unit of mole. And that's why we're only left with the unit of mole. So the, the units will cancel. So let's see what we get. 2.026 divided by the 162.2. I got four sig figs, so 0. 0, 1, 2, 4, that's three sig figs, so 1, 2, 4, 9. And that's moles of FeCl3. So that's this number, 0. 0.01249 moles. So now we're ready to solve for capital M, big molarity. Molarity equals 
the moles. 0 0.01249 moles. And you don't have to keep the units in there. I'm just going to keep the units just to show you that, you know, what the, what the units for molarity is when we get our answer. So now we just do the math, right? 0 0.01249 divided by 0 0.1250. 0 0.01249 divided by 0 0.1250. Uh, we have four sig figs, so 0 0.09992. And let's see. Well, we have a mole unit on the top. We have a liter unit on the bottom. Can these cancel? Are they the same? No, they're not. So I can't cancel them out. That's why the unit for molarity is well, either capital M, that's acceptable, but more specifically, it is mole per liter. So that's it. Okay, guys, what do you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments if it did. Give this video a thumbs up. Love to hear from you guys. And if you want, subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, tell your friends, tell your classmates too. And I'll see you guys all in the next chapter. Not chapter, question. Anyway. <laughs> It's getting late. It's like, I don't know. What time is it? Oh my God. It's 2.13. It's 2.13 AM guys. But, uh, we're just going to keep rocking and rolling. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta finish these molarity questions for you guys. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye-bye.